Hi, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial and I'm going to utilize sketching on a datum plane over here and we'll utilize a pattern and also finally shell the, the final part. So the datum plane I've already created, just going to show you, edit the definition of it and you can see that it is rotated at 30 degrees and the plane is defined by this the right datum plane and the and an axis. So we'll say OK. Now I've already started sketching on it. Let me edit the definition of the sketch. And I'm going to go into this mode so we can see the sketch a little better. So it's a fairly straightforward. Uh, I've made a circle and I put a, a rectangle through it and have dimensioned it and I cut away the interiors so that you can see that it is a full sketch by utilizing the, uh, the closed sketch icon on the top. So once this is done, I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to allow it to extrude, and I'll let it come out a distance of, let's say, 100. I will say OK. All right, well now I'm going to turn off the right datum plane and the datum plane that I, rather, uh, the control key and that axis. So we'll hide all of those so we have just our part that we need to see here. And actually I want to turn that axis back on. I'm going to need that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this extrude, I come over here to my pattern tool, and now I don't want to use dimensions. I want to select an axis, and this is the axis that I turn back on. And I don't want to use the default. I want to make three parts that are at 60 degrees to each other and that's all I need to specify. I'll say OK and now I've got this neat looking part as you can see and I'll turn off the axis so I can hide it so it makes the part a little bit more clear to see and I'll leave us in this mode because now what I want to do is I want to shell this part and I want to remove this top surface, this top surface, this top surface, and the bottom surface. So we'll come over here to the shell command and it says select the surfaces. Notice it's plural. The surface is to be removed. So you're going to be holding the control key down. So I'm selecting this surface, control key this surface, rotating, holding the control key down, selecting that surface, and finally come underneath and with the control key selecting the bottom surface. So now it gives a default thickness of 0.58. That's way thicker than I want. You'll see that it made a very, very narrow slot. I'm just going to set it at a default of about 0.5. And we'll say OK. And what I've done is I've made a very, very thin walled part that is something that would probably be relatively difficult to make um, utilizing anything other than the shell feature. Or I take that back. You could create it numerous ways, but the shell feature provides a nice, um, convenient method when you know that this is the type of part that you're going to want to create. Okay, so uh, datum planes, sketching on datum planes, uh, circular patterns, and the shell.